Hmm. Um, I am determined to find. I, I feel like it has to be in Blood World. There's too many weird things here. Maybe there's a specific door, because most of the doors kind of loop you around. It's definitely not that one. I've tried twice and hasn't led me anywhere. So I'm just going to try all the doors here. I never tried this door. Yeah, that's not it. Alright. So, it's not the first door. That's right over here. It's not the second door, which is in here. I feel because that there would be no reason for that looping hallway, really, unless Chris was hiding a secret, don't you think? So, oh, I was actually about to turn around. Okay, I was right. I have to think about things that seemed weird and unfinished that we didn't get to explore fully before. The mirror shows Ryotaro's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Michiro looks. All right, second of his mirrors found. Let's go for it then. Hip hip. Now here's my suspicion, since uh, I'm not sure. Maybe there's different endings based on if I looked inside mirrors and stabbed myself in front of them instead of shattering them. But my actual belief is that maybe if I show all the character, if I show like all her mirror stuff then enter inside this room, maybe I'll get a different ending. And if I show all of his stuff and then enter here, then I'll get them. Then if I show both of them all their stuff and enter, there might be a different ending. It's gonna be a little bit careful about this. Hmm? You found another mirror? Can you truly be fa can they truly be found so quickly? All right then, let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but lead me there. Enter the realm with the mirror, right? Okay, well, I'm actually following. The only problem is I have no idea where to go after this. I don't know where the fuck into the mirror might be. This is my only last lead I was thinking of. All right, let's lead him off to where his mirror happens to be. What do you think they do just standing there in the main hall all day? Anyways, let's go this way. Yep. And here we are. Let's show him his mirror, mirror on the wall. The mirror shows Rayota's or Rayotero's reflection. Now, now, what will be this time? Can't imagine though what will come up, even though it's about me. I wonder if the return of a new memory were to totally invert my pre present personality. That may well be the same as death. No jokes about how I'm already dead. Please. Let's see. One year ago, a company. Should we get a lawn, Sengoku? Yep. Are you worn out, sir? Yeah, trouble at home lately. At home? Ugh. Is this up to something again? She has seemed upset lately. No, not that. Well, it's not that kind of thing. You tell people about, but you're not a stranger. See, my old man's inheritance is proving to be kind of a mess. The inheritance of a famed artist, eh? I bet it's a lot. Oh, wait, is he related to us? Because my guess is that the other girl, the girl that she sees that talks like us was the guy who I liked a lot's uh, sister. And is this guy related to us some way? Uh, because the same situation that I'm in, he's in with the grandfather being an artist who's leaving inheritance. Huh? But didn't your father pass away last year? Was it only a problem now? Is it only a problem now? Actually, it's been trouble ever since then. I'm the eldest son, but uh, Will says everything should go to someone else, except they're refusing it. That said, they won't even give it to me, so it's up in the air. What was the old man thinking? That really does sound messy. With money, you should always follow the law. That's what I intend to do. Soon I'll get a lawful interpretation at a suitable place. It's taken up all my time. I didn't realize how I've hardly been talking to my daughter lately. This is delicate time for her, too. This is no good as her father, I should. C calm down, sir. Are you okay? Right. Sorry. I should at least do my job properly. I know, Sengoku. Will you come over to our house later? Huh? To your house, sir? I'm sure he'll take her mind off it to talk with her brother, and if you could, talk to my daughter like a good uncle. Uh, your daughter, you say? 
There's been some trouble. She's been retreating to her shell lately. She doesn't have many friends at school. I feel like she needs more new or some new relationships. Well, I wonder if a clumsy fellow like me could have a good talk with her. <sighs> it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just the guy to help my glum daughter. It's pathetic as eh, it's pathetic as can be that we're too busy with money to tend to her, but this is important. We can't ignore it. All right, then. My brother-in-law insists. How can I refuse? So yeah, that would be our uncle, then. Sorry. Hey, wait, have you seen her before? Er, the cute young lady in your New Year's cards, right? All right, I wouldn't mind taking some time to brag about her, but it's time. There's work to be done, yes. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? Yep! And off we roll. So he's our uncle. Got it. Hmm. Ah, I remember. I see, Mishiro, you're... Sajiusi, no doubt. He was my boss and brother-in-law. Though at the moment, I can't recall if I ever did meet you in person while I was alive. They seem like trivial memories, but I feel they relate to my death and wish. Many holes remain, but I remembered a fair bit. Couldn't have done it without your effort. Uh, I've got something here. Sure, I got a mystery key. I picked it up on a rare walk around this world. No point in me having it. I'm sure I'll make better use of it. Now, no more to do with this eerie place. Be sure to let me know if you find another mirror. Okay. Things that certainly affect things. Light that fire. And now, I don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to go from world to world until I sort of have an idea of what the fuck I'm doing. This is not the first world. I'll come back there, though. Um, this is the first world. The green world. So I know that upstairs was a mirror. Was there anything down here? It's just the one door, though. In here? No. I mean, I guess this area did have a lot of dead ends. Uh, I've got a bear lantern, so I guess I can look around. Teddy bear, cute. I don't know. There might not be anything around in the forest world, except for the one mirror I already got. Not every world can have two mirrors, so... Yeah, yeah. Looking closely, there's a liar in the- ooh! Maybe I should check out more fireplaces. Descend. Now what's this? There's a marvelous painting in the box. Let's take it. Shiro put the, took the painting, surprised by the thickness of the frame. Shiro got a night portrait. There are male fixtures to display something on. The painting? Shiro put the painting on the wall. Marvelous suit of armor. Uh, but no, this doesn't make sense. Remove. There's a knight head here. There's a shield, a helmet. This is the same as the beginning area. I don't have an axe, though. Because in the first hallway, there's a shield, there's a helmet. Okay. Can't use that. Can't use that. so the sword can go there. I had my suspicions, but... Mashiro put on the western sword on the wall, so I think it's a trap, this painting, because it doesn't make sense to have a knight painting next to a knight and a shield, and there's blood there implying this might be a trap, so... I do want to see the death scene, but... Wait, what? The mirror shows someone's reflection. It's clearly not her, yet Mashiro feel, felt she could see in. Let's look in, then. I'm guessing it's the sister? Let's find out. Thirteen years ago, and in. Huh. All that talk, taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please, Itsuro. He is my child. But Saichi's told me how you've been seeing the shadow of your father and Itsuro lately. Saichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you've looked so afraid lately. 
he knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. Tanaki, the biggest load on your mind. It's art, isn't it? Yutsuro is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Yutsuro with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? It'll be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki, but it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What'll happen to Hayato then? Nobody's perfect. You don't need to carry everything alone, especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still, I still want to hold out. I don't think I. I don't want to break up this family of four. Tamaki, Sinji, Chika, I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Let me try just a little longer. Saichi. If the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki, you've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop before it does you in. Right. That was a weird scene. Feels like it might be important to other things, and I'm pretty sure the reflection was the other girl? But whatever, it's there now. What does that affect? Though it was unclear, Mashiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... It's someone's mirror. Does that affect endings? Like, maybe I'm wrong about my ending guesses? I don't know. Maybe I should check out more fireplaces, though. I don't really know what all I'm actually looking for. Um, there's not many doors I can think of, so maybe there's just... Is there anywhere else that... There, I mean, there might be ladders and holes as well. Um, I'm gonna check something, because there's that one fireplace in the room that we got the initial lantern in. Is that over here? No, where was that? Um... I'm thinking about this one for a second. What was up here? Oh, there's a fireplace. Fuck, I fell for that. <laughs> but that does give me an idea. Let me go up here. Let me save my game there. And science time. Can I just go inside, like, here? Looking closely. Okay. I think I'm onto this. Let's descend. Going a little bit deeper then. Yep. Here I be. Unlock the door with the yeah, here we go. Well, I guess we need the key to actually and open the door itself though. One of the bigger mirrors is here. I'm gonna make another save file because I feel like I should probably only do one or the other. Tabor stares with round eyes. Cute indeed. The mirror shows Ryotero's reflection. See a change as much as Monsieur looks. Well, I know which pal of mine to get. I guess I'll go for his ending first. Let's roll and do it as we will. Make sure not to smash myself in the face. I think I might know where the other, where her mirror is as well, but I, should, I will only do his first, then see if that changes the ending at all. Let's do it to it. What? Another of my mirrors? The third one? I sense big things coming. All right, then let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but lead me there. We enter, yep, I know how he works. This is a strange sensation. An ending is approaching, I feel. All right. Oh, does that actually mean I might get another ending when I do this? Oh, he's even saying literally ending. So maybe a new ending will open up if I let us do this. So let's give it a shot. Looking closely up, there's a ladder, which means we'll go down and cross them over to these parts. Here we roll. Show them the mirror world for a second. I will make a save file here. The mirror shows Rayotero's reflection. A bit different from the other mirrors. A strange place, too. Reaching the critical moment, perhaps. You walked into this place by yourself? Boy, you're strong. I mean it. Deeply. But strength isn't the same as never fatiguing. No, save it for later. First, to look at this mirror. There's a door behind it. Oh, she looks just like you when you were a kid, but at the same time, it's much too cute for that. 
Huh, it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just the guy to help my glum daughter. Okay, now let's go. The West Building, right? God, the smoke's already up to this floor. It's no good. The stairs are too hot to approach. Cruel fate. Will it end like this without anything resolved with my family? I'm sorry, Chica, Mashiro. So I'll never get to meet Mashiro. I'm sure she'll grow to be far prettier than Sis. I really wanted to have that chance. It's really not anything lewd. I just see such beauty there. Hmm. I've remembered it all. How I died, my wish, and the rest. I see now. Admirable tenacity, if I say, do say so myself. I'm a bit tired. Feels like more information overload than the previous mirrors were. Once I've got sorted out, I'll talk about the things to do with you and what I know. I'm sure that's simple, simply my duty. Oh, are you planning to go on ahead? If you are, I'll accompany you. A good uncle should protect girls, you know. Save here. Open a large door? Sure. Oh, it's the grandpa. That is that grandpa? Your Rinzo. Once there was a painter. He was known as the mad genius Rinzo, you see. Rinzo's art was highly estimated and sold for high prices. He had statues, status, and wealth. Grandpa, what are you talking about? And why are you here? Wait, look closely. I don't think you can hear us. Soon, Rinzo married a woman. They had a son named Sinji. Rinzo preached the beauty of art to his wife and child, but they showed no interest in it. Rinzo's wife did not see his art, only the prices attached. Sinji too was taught her practicality. So it was only natural that Rinzo formed a relationship with a servant showing true interest in art. Huh? When Sinji was eight, Rinzo and the servant had an illegitimate child. Her name was Tamaki. Rinzo kept Tamaki hidden from his wife and Sinji, managing two families. But between Sinji, who cared not at all for art, and Tamaki, who adored it like her mother, Rinzo's affection went towards Tamaki. That came to an end shortly after Sinji went to college, when Tamaki's existence came to light. Rinzo's offered his wife consolation as asked and divorced her. Sinji, already grown, kept the name Yusu. A wise choice, he knew how to make a living. Some time passed after that, when Tamaki, who Rinzu adored as a daughter and a student, turned 18. Rinzu made the biggest mistake of his life. He adored his daughter Tamaki so he had a child with her. Boy. Tamaki and her mother left Rinzu. They refused even money. Maki seemingly birthed and raised the child, but who knows the details? Rinzo was unable to hear of it. A near 20 years passed since the incident, and Rinzo died of illness. Nothing unusual, age comes for all. Shinji was the eldest son of the Yusai family, set to inherit his fortune. But thinking of it as a final atonement, Rinzo passed on, leaving a will to give to, to all to Tamaki. The inheritance? So the boss was disputing with Tamaki over it. That man's soul is now bound here. Unlike the other souls, the world is forcing him to be here. Only the creator of this world knows why, but it seems some dead fellow has business with me. But very well, to face my sin internally is an appropriate afterlife for me. That's all. Sorry for the long story. Visitors are rare. I can't see or hear you. But I know you're there. Be well, dead one and soul. Let's go. There's nothing more here. A 
Shall we return to the usual place? Especially after Rinzo's story, I need to talk to you. Oh boy. Yo, listen to Raya Terra. Got it. Alright, let's begin. First off, Mishiro, I think you can probably open this big door now. Had no problem opening the same kind of door earlier, surely you can open this one if you want it. Before that, listen to what I have to say, now that I've got my memories back. Hmm? I'm Ryotis and Goku, younger brother of Chikayusu, Mishiro's mother, and subordinate to her dad, Senjiyusu. Okay? I knew about you a while back from a New Year's card Sis sent me. To be honest, I found you cute. Not exactly a romantic thing, of course. I was captivated by your latent beauty, I suppose. But when I asked my boss about you, I learned you'd been glum and moping as of late. And I know why. You injured someone in middle school and Sis kept you shackled ever since. That's right. My boss invited me over to your house, and I was honestly pumped to try and help you. It made me sad to imagine such a beautiful girl moping ground round. He says without a second of hesitation. No poking fun now, it's the end. Huh? But I died before it happened. We got caught in a fire in a building at work. A fire? Yes, I was with your father. After that, well, it even kind of surprised me. Partly by will, I became a soul and flew around to where you were, apparently. So, for the year or so between my death and yours, my spirit was sort of haunting you. What? Oh, but I was hardly even conscious or anything. I just vaguely know that's what happened. <clears throat> for, you see, ever since I saw your photo, I considered you someone beautiful and worth protecting. So even through death, I had the wish of getting to talk to you at least once. So that was your wish. So it was, thus it's been granted. By following you, I wound up in this world, and in this world, my unrealized wishes came true. So, what's next, I wonder? Looks like it's this! Your body! Not sure if I'll ascend or go to void or what, but this is goodbye. Mishiro, the harsh circumstance you've had, and the fact that you're dead now, I don't feel like it's irrelevant to me. I can't say don't blame your parents. But I just want you to know, I can't force you to understand or sympathize, but just know, your father worried over and regretted how he was spending less time with you. He wasn't just weighing you and your inheritance on a scale. Your mother was working with your father to obtain proof that the UC fortune belonged to them. Maybe she failed to control her strength properly. Maybe she wasn't calm, but she had no ill will, I'm sure. I'm sure after the boss and I died, she endured the sorrow of losing a husband and brother and fought for her family. Your father and mother might have been clumsy, but they weren't cold-blooded. I just want you to know that. It's probably too late to say now, though. Alright, one last thing while I'm, being, while I'm being late. There are people who value you. There are people who'd be sad about your death. It may be a bit warped, admittedly, but I'm one of them. The world's not that much of a disappointment, you see. So, I've done my best to encourage you. Ah. Rayatera left. If you're telling me that, then... Where should my wish to erase my existence go? Da 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 da. I sound like we perfectly timed finishing that with the music unintentionally, so... Ryotaro's wish was granted. He's free from this world. It's surely a good thing. Okay, Mishiro, let's go through the door. The end might be, must be near. I think I might be right that if we only grant one person's wish. So I'm gonna make another save file. Let's do this. Open the large door. Let's do it. See what happens here. Huh? Hey! Ayato, why are you here? Because this soul is nece necessary for granting your wish. Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. 
Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wished my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't even able to fulfill it, because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. This is the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went into unexisting, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. That wasn't Miss Shiro, was it? Of course, it was someone long before you, the first person to come to this world. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator, so that this world could complete its duty and chose a new soul to control it. And so, since you carry the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you, and in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all of your actions, I can attest to that. But it's not over just yet. The boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life, because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayado. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll have never existed. Mashiro, you're still suffering, huh? This is basically almost exactly the same, just a few minor differences, but yeah. I... If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I've overcome a lot of obstacles coming here. I've looked back on my past and erased it. But is it really right to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all, I wish my life had never even existed. And yet, I've learned that my mom and dad gave their best efforts for me, clumsy as they were. And I know there's a person who valued me, going as far as to come to this world and to encourage me. Can I make all of that something that never happened? I can, I can't, um, I guess I can. I'll say I can first, and that ends up giving me the same ending, I'll say I can't. Yes, yes, I can, I won't lose sight of my goal. I threw myself in to put an end to it all, and yet I wound up in this world, learned all these ne unnecessary things led astray, I'm just tired, enough of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant my wishes already, yeah, that's just gonna lead me to the same ending. So I should just say I can't. Okay, got it. Open the door. Open. Let's roll, and I'm gonna have to unfortunately skip through until the very end there. All the things to skip through. Mash, 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 mash. So I know what comes after the next scene. So I remember I have to say I can't when I do the other character's pathway as well there, so... Uh... And yeah, okay. I can't. Okay. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Dad's secret distress, Mom's painful effort, even Ryotaro's unusual concern for me. I can't just make it all be gone. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change the harsh reality. 
Are you still giving up your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning the wish. Its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like it had been. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you, Mashiro. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Huh? Your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. They called it in right away, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Mashiro, when your soul leaves here, I'll be, you'll be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you erased by breaking the mirrors won't come back to you when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual part is the past isn't gone, but your memories of it are. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, but things like meeting me at the lake. Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in a world you've given up on living in once more? I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. For you protecting me and what this world's given me, I want to give it another try. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I'm not scared of vanishing without gaining my wish. Because my wish coming true would just free me from this world. But now all the souls will be freed, right? That's a happy thing for me. I feel sure of that. Mashiro, leave incense or something at my grave. Think of it like saying hi. Okay. I'll be sure to find your grave. Jeez, seven years and ends like this. As long as the rule is satisfied, I suppose. Will the one who created this world go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but they'll be free from this world to go where they go. That's good. I say ruler, but you're more of an usurper, technically. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. And I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. After that, I regain consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I really had been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. My mother was there, looking at me in a way I felt she hadn't in years. Mashiro, you're awake? Thank goodness, oh thank goodness. If I had lost you too... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I drove you to this, didn't I? My mother was shocked by my suicide attempt and apologized for her harsh discipline. My head felt very hazy. I only remembered that she was my mother, who became very strict at some point. It took a lot just to recognize that as real. And as I thought about it, fear and unease towards my mother came up from the gaps in my memory. But, it's okay. Ryotera had told me about the pressure on the use on the use of my Yusus, and how death had taxed my mother's mind. Now that I was able to accept that, it was easy to hold my mother's hand. My brain had suffered memory loss, and I could no longer remember many past events. I remembered Ayada was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remember talking to him in the mirror world and felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Ryotera too. I probably only met them in the mirror world. Ultimately, my mother gave up on the inheritance and we lived a simple life together. Things are a little strict at my high school, but I think I can handle it now. And after all, this isn't the world I've come to after many shortcuts and detours. Okay, I'd better get to bed. I have school tomorrow, and tonight I hope to have good dreams. We keep on timing the music perfectly, that's kind of weird. Alright, well we got three out of the five endings, I assume. I'll let the credits roll through their magic. I'm not going to talk about my thoughts yet because we still got two endings to get, is my guess. 
Probably one where we save only the girl and not the guy, and probably the last ones if we save both of them. That's my guess. Meryl I'm expecting, yep, the credits aren't going to be entirely too long. When you see the same name repeated multiple times, that usually means they're not going to be incredibly too long. Still, let do as it does. Maybe it can finally remind me of the name of that royalty-free song they kept on using. Presence Music, that was it. I recognize that name. Here's the end after Teriyaki Tomatoes. I guess that was the developer's name. That or someone really liked Teriyaki Tomatoes. Rules as we go. Ending three, small happiness. This too is a proper ending. All right, then I guess I'm gonna go for the other one. Continue with save file be this save file. I think I know where the girl's grave is. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.